the island turtle here welcome to balmy spirit so let's go ahead and get into your monthly intuitive messages for pisces whether you're here because you are pisces it's pisces season you're drawn here you guys know the drill um if you are resonating with this and you want to go deeper there's a part two linked below through vimeo or patreon your preference is your preference um don't also don't forget as well to check out the website and all the um events and updates and things that are happening uh we also have the astrology calendar and moon calendar uh still available and links are below for that um ashley jagmohan made the moon calendar and i made the astrology calendar it is a team effort all right let's get into it pisces i'm loving your energy right now I really am. It feels really, really nice. I'm actually recording on Easter, so happy Easter, happy belated Easter. Obviously, if you're watching this on YouTube, um, but I was just getting a big pink egg, <laughs> literally, literally, just a big pink egg, uh, and I was really feeling a lot of that very like soft, yummy, like higher heart chakra energy. Also, like very creative energy going on there too. It's just this energy of like soft love. Like soft being like a huge component of it, soft, gentle, cushy, like 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 energy you'd want to give a baby almost, right? But I feel like it's just energy that you're in and you're exuding, very soft, very gentle, very yummy energy. So let's get into this. I'm starting with the spell casting oracle for you. So make, this could resonate with dragons. <coughs> dragons just came through really strong. I'm seeing a dragon like with their tail wrapped around an egg, literally like protecting the egg. You could be the dragon. Um, I feel like you're the egg, honestly. Okay, this is gonna be an interesting reading. I feel like you're the egg. You could, you could be both. Thank you. They're like, you could be both. You could be both. You could be holding yourself in this very beautiful vibration. But dragons, dragons are really clear for you. Dragons are really clear. Mm. All right. Pisces, any messages or insights for the Pisces? Any messages or insights for Pisces? Ooh, I think Leo got this card, if I'm not mistaken. I don't totally remember, but I think they did. Um, beauty, that's, that's totally where you're at. That is totally where you're at. This very soft, yummy, juicy, mmm, <laughs> mmm, energy. It's the energy of beauty. You're exuding the energy of beauty. Beauty is not just a physical thing. Beauty is not just, oh, she's very beautiful. Like, that's not just beauty. Beauty is, oh God, what's, what? okay. What words want to come up to describe what beauty really is? I keep getting words like beauty is when Oh, I feel like so many words. I mean, how can you even define beauty? I feel like it's not actually definable. I'm going to do my best, though. When elation meets satisfaction in gratitude and love. And it's like, yeah, how do you describe that? But you're exuding this energy of beauty. And not, it's not just a physical thing. It's the vibration of beauty. It's the vibration of beauty. Whoa, am I taking all of these? No. Okay. Any other messages or insights? Oh, and something I'm like noticing that I've never noticed before. There's like a pink line, like down the center of the, of the, um, I said the deck, the card, excuse me. It's just light. It's little like light fractals, but it's pink. It's all pink. I've never noticed that before. Never noticed that before. Again, I'm really feeling the higher heart chakra with you, Pisces. Oh, and now we have grieving. And now we have grieving. Why does that feel kind of jolting? That feels a little jolting. You could be, you could be moving into this really beautiful vibration after a time of really detaching and letting certain things go. We are still in eclipse season, so you could have been eclipsing something out in your life. I do think Leo had something very similar. But you're moving in this vibration of beauty. What does it mean to be beautiful? I keep I keep getting it's also coming down to gratitude. Just grat just gratitude and love and exuding peace in that. Ooh, inspiration. There might be something going on with going on with you and Leo Pisces, because I do but I know Leo had inspiration coming out as well. That grieving is really sticking out like a sore thumb though. I mean, look at this. Beauty, grieving, inspiration. Both of these feel very uplifting. And then smack dab in the middle, you've got this like five of cups energy. 
I feel like, you know, the grieving almost doesn't matter, which is kind of strange to say, because if you've made it here, you're at peace. You are very much at peace. Could it be that someone around you is grieving right now and like you're able to hold this beautiful vibration for them and hold space for them? Absolutely. Absolutely, that could be the case. Let's see if any other ones want to come out for you, Pisces. I'm like dying to get into the animals. I think the animals are going to do a lot of talking. Anything else for Pisces? They keep showing me pink. They keep showing me pink. Anything else for Pisces? Mm. On the bottom, we have answers. Answers. Answers is also a card of clarity. It's a card of knowing. It's a card of seeing. I, I, I keep getting whatever got you here. It almost doesn't matter. All that matters is that you're here now. That you're in this experience of beauty. It reminds me of a card from a, the Native Spirit deck, Walking in Beauty. And even from the Shamanic um, Medicine deck I have... Um, Oh, oh, what is it? <laughs> I can't remember the name. I can't totally remember the name, but it also speaks to that practice of beauty. And even the walking in beauty card, it's this, it's this state of being, right? That of walking in presence and gratitude and literally seeing all of the beauty and the light in all things um, and what all, all gifts, like all the gifts of life are, right? In every moment, that's where you're at. That's where you're moving into, Pisces. I keep feeling like there's other people involved in this too. Like either observing you in this, feeling you in this. Some of you have actually had to like walk away from certain people too in order to get into this state. But I feel, yeah, I feel like people are noticing. People are noticing you in this state or they're experiencing you in this state. And some of you are actually in this state to hold space for other people. Very interesting. Let's go ahead and get into the animals. The Wild Unknown Animal Spirit deck. Any other messages or insights for Pisces? Any other messages, insights for Pisces? <laughs> Seeing the otter card. That's very juicy too. Just like you. <laughs> Can I get a card for beauty for Pisces? Ooh, juicy, juicy. Stingray. I keep getting dragon with you too. It's okay, that is really bizarre. Because there is a dragon card in this deck, but with the stingray, I'm getting that like primordial masculine energy that I mean you can even say that's very dragon-like, but stingray to me is it's a card of spiritual strength. It's like what's one of my King of Cups cards, actually. It's having the emotional and spiritual strength to be able to hold oneself while also allowing your emotions to flow through and then being able to do that for other people and do it with wisdom and do it with ease and do it with grace and all of that. But it's very, very watery and very primordial. And I keep getting that like the dragon and the egg, like the dragon holding the egg, the dragon holding and protecting the beauty, the masculine holding the feminine within and without. For some of it was about a relationship, but that's what I'm getting here. And I think that's also why I feel other people because it's like, how could this not be seen and ignore? And like, you can't like not ignore that. Wait, words, sorry. Words are hard today. You can't ignore this energy if it's around you. Like there's no ignoring that energy. You're radiating this very pink vibration of beauty. And then there's this like dragon energy where it's like you're able to hold it. You're able to maintain it. And for some of you, if this is involving other people, there's like someone who's helping you with that. Because some of you are definitely in that boat. Interesting. I love it. I love this vibration for you. Tell me about grieving for Pisces. You got two cards. You have tarantula and wolf with grieving. Tarantula is like a two of wands energy. It can be like this crossroads, tense, stressful energy. And wolf is this energy of what role are you stepping into? What role are you playing in a community or a group? It's also a student teacher energy for me as well. <sighs> I feel like you've had a rope tied to your ankle. I don't know why it wants to come through that way, but it does. You've had a rope tied to your ankle. It almost reminds me of like, the hunting traps for animals oh like the claw so so awful um 
I'm really sensitive when it comes to animals and that's just like the visual of that actually makes me nauseous. But that's also what I'm getting. Like a claw has been around your foot, Pisces. A claw has been around your foot, which is kind of interesting because like even the visual of the dragon and the egg, right? The dragon has the tail wrapped around the egg. That's also kind of like rope and grabby like, but it doesn't feel it doesn't feel entrapping. It feels nourishing. It feels comforting. It feels like holding versus leashing. Pisces, I feel like there has been something that has made you feel leashed. Whether you have felt leashed to something external to you, like a person, a job, an environment, etc. Some of you have been leashing yourselves, um, keeping yourselves restricted from that glory gloriousness but that's also why grieving is here i feel like this is almost like the story of the wolf who who bit off its own foot to free itself <laughs> giving me moonstruck vibes if y'all don't know that movie you need to watch that movie that's like one of my favorite movies from my childhood i love moonstruck but anyway it's given me those vibes the wolf who will bite off its own foot just to be free and be in this gloriousness energy gloriousness glorious energy Again, tired. Yeah, you've been leashed. And you're unleashing yourself. Let's get into inspiration. Actually, before I pull the animal cards, let me really feel into this card. This feels like a call from within. This feels like a call from within. And this is the the call that of, of action. Of the action of the call. Sorry, words. There's a call from within asking you to look at something, asking you to do something, asking you to pay attention to something. And it's asking you to pay attention to the leash around your foot and to do something about it. And if you do something about it, glorious supportive energy between the dragon and the egg, the pink egg, they said, the pink egg, okay. Tell me about inspiration. Yeah, this is this is a call from within to pay attention to how you're leashed. It could even be the way of society. Maybe you feel leashed because of the way of society. That's there's a case of that going around collectively. Yeah, eagle. Eagle with inspiration. Eagle is like the world card in this deck. Also a master of air and fire, which I thought was kind of interesting. But eagle comes out when it's time for a whole new experience where it's time to close massive cycles and open new ones, very like, very much like the world card, but it's a call. I can totally feel it. It's, it's something within you going, hey, hello, Pisces. Did you know we're trapped? <laughs> Did you know we were leashed? We need, we need to do something about that. We need to do something about that, like ASAP. Very fascinating. Let's see if any, and Hawk at the bottom, Hawk and Eagle to me are sister energies, um, beautiful counterpart energies. They work really well together. While Eagle is more of the perching, seeing the entire view and tactical strike, Hawk is like, Hawk is very active. Hawk is like surveys and like they're, they're both, um, uh, what, you, what you call it? <laughs> Words, they're both birds of prey, right? But they work very differently. Hawk is more like the soldier, the Eagle's like the general. Right, you can think of it that way. Um, so love seeing that in your reading. Any other messages or insights from the animal deck for Pisces? Ooh, Pisces. I just got the tingles. <laughs> the whole spine went, Duh. I'm like, oh, something electrocuted me a little bit. Something illuminated me, as my friend would say. We have Beauty, Stingray, and now we have Lion. Stingray, again, like I said, is like a mastery of spiritual emotional strength, like the King of Cups. Lion is a master of fire. And like I said, Eagle's also a master of fire and air. So you have a lot of like mastery sort of messages and elements coming through here for you. But Lion is having that wisdom of knowing how to like, not ration your reserves. It sounds very like survival energy, um, manage like manage your reserves and your energy and your fire and your passion so you don't burn out, right? It's also very much like the wisdom of when to take action, of when to be in the fire, right? And then when to kind of hold back and reserve yourself. Um, I keep getting that you're, you're learning to hold yourself here, but they keep showing me a dragon and an egg is what they keep showing me. 
which is funny because it kind of reminds me of like fire and water a little bit just because like egg is that like symbol of life right the woo water and then it's like fiery dragon right and we do a fire and water here with lion and stingray some of you could be really learning to balance or temper your own fire water elements within yourself again when to take action when to reserve when to take action when to reserve so you're finding a beautiful balance within yourself and for some of you this is also about um doing this with other people or a specific relationship but this is nourishment this is holding oneself in a nourished safe blossoming thriving energy it's really nice only after you get this little internal wake-up call to wake up to what trap you have been trapped in and we need to we need to bite our foot off so we can be free now not to be gruesome but that's just how it wants to come through overall we do have buffalo times of change are afoot here for you which makes sense you're you're just getting out of the trap you're unleashing yourself and you're doing it with grace and ease underneath that we do have dragonfly a shift in your perception in order to even see this in the first place and then butterfly freedom freedom rebirth grace beauty all of that very nice pisces let's go ahead and pull from the runic tarot Any messages or insights for Pisces pertaining to the spread? Any messages or insights for Pisces pertaining to the spread? Okay. Tell me about Lion, Stingray, and Beauty. Yeah, Pis Pisces, you, you vibrating, <laughs> you're vibrating here. We now have the eight of wands coming out with all of this like just beautiful holding of nourishment, the dragon pink egg stuff going on. Eight of wands is actually very fast movement. It's unstoppable movement. It could also be about communication, but I'm getting it's much more about the making of moves here. Um, this pink egg, again, I feel like all of it is you. I do feel like all of it is you. But that egg aspect is also really representing something that you are incubating here and that you're making, you're going to want to make moves on and from. And it does feel like this blossoming that you're going through. It just feels like, it just feels like you're vibrating and you're just going to continue to vibrate and you're holding yourself perfectly to go through whatever this movement is for you. Some of you, there could be travel involved, but I, I don't feel like that's what it's about. I don't feel like that's what it's about. It feels like being on this like, new train of vibrating beauty and just expanding it expanding it if this does involve like a relationship of any kind it's blossoming <laughs> it is it is blossoming but it's only really blossoming after you free yourself you untrap yourself you bite off your own foot to be free essentially Actually, it's, it's, that's very Scorpionic, but like it actually is also very Piscean. Because Pisces, you guys are the 12th house. And in the 12th house, we can experience trauma, hospitalization, injury, illness, like even death to an extent, right? It is like the non-physicality of our world and where everything goes to be resolved, an ending to a beginning, right? Pisceans have this exceptional gift to go through immense suffering and to find peace actually like in dealing with that more like more peace than what other people would normally find like Pisceans can experience a trauma and it, it's just it, it is what it is it's a it's an interesting gift to have but anyway moving on let's let's look to no i don't before we go to the chewing off of your own foot here um again watch moonstruck let's look at the call Let's look at this call to paying attention to that in the first place, because something within you is like, hey, you need to look at this. <laughs> that was fast. 
We have the Knight of Cups and the Sun. Talk about a call. Wow. Talk about a call. Knight of Cups and the Sun. This actually, to me, it feels like the internal sun. The soul. Your soul or your chi. And it's like, whoo. It, it's like, even just the, the, the illustration, right? Whoo. <laughs> Getting you to pay attention here. With the Knight of Cups being here, obviously the heart is at play. Moving from the heart, Mars and Pisces is having this effect on a lot of us right now in the collective. I've actually talked about it in the Leo reading. So if you're curious about that aspect of it, go watch the Leo reading. But I'm seeing it here with you when you are Pisces and Mars is in your energy right now. I feel like I'm literally looking at the manifestation of what Mars and Pisces is doing for you personally. It's getting you to almost have this expansion of your soul, of your heart, of the truth sensitivity thank you sensitivity and awareness expansion to your sensitivity and awareness to even know that this is even happening or even has been existing for you very interesting um some of you this could also be an encounter with somebody somebody who really comes from the soul really comes from the heart and it's almost like your experience with them is getting you to see this about yourself that you've got a chain like a chain or a rope around your foot but let's look at it. Let's look at the chain or rope around your foot that you're about to free yourself from or unleash yourself from. What about tarantula, wolf, and grieving? You know, high priestess, you know this. You know, it, it's the, your enhanced awareness recently. <clears throat> You know it, you know it. it, it's been hidden from you for a bit, but like this call or this like encounter with this Knight of Cups, again, I feel like for most of you, it's this internal, just sense in, bleh, increased sensitivity, you know, even if it's been hidden from you. Oh my. Two of Cups in the Chariot. Well, there's a story here, Pisces. There is a story here. Some of you, this is literally about needing to bite off your foot to get away from a relationship or a person. Some of you, it's it can be programming. It can be trauma. It can be a way of life that you are becoming aware, oh, this is keeping me from being fully nourished and also fully in my own ability to hold myself in my own vibration. Also indicative of the two of cups and the chariot because these two energies, this can be about leaving a relationship or heading towards a relationship. Absolutely, explicitly, some of you are experiencing that in this, but it also on a bigger picture level here, which can also manifest in relationships, right? So both are can be absolutely true if I'm about to say. It's also about being able to be centered in the self, holding your sphinxes to go in a direction, looking at yourself in, in the mirror and merging with yourself, the light, the shadow, everything in between. Rainbows, I think, are really big for you. There's a lot of rainbows in these cards I'm noticing. Um, so Pisces, you've a part of you has known, but this recent enhancement to your sensitivity and awareness, you cannot ignore it anymore. Whether, you're, whether a relationship is a part of this or not, leaving one or heading towards one, at the end of the day, even if that's not part of your story, this is about you freeing yourself from something that has been keeping you stuck, trapped, leashed, imprisoned. Keeping you from being able to be in this vibration of beauty and holding yourself there safely. Wow. Wow. Well, Pisces, we're going to get into part two. Um, but if this is where we depart, I hope this has been helpful for you and supportive for you on your journey. This is a beautiful vibration you're moving into. Oh, I didn't even look at the bottom. I'm sorry. Knight of Pentacles. Um, diligence, loyalty, showing up, integrity. It's my card of integrity. It's also a card of gatekeepers as well. Um, guardians as well. But this is about having integrity. It's also your counterpart of Virgo. Oh, oh, okay. Sorry, don't mean to all be dramatic. I just can't help myself. Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Swords in the world. 
biting through the rope, chewing off your own foot to move into the world energy, to move into this place of beauty, to move into this place of just exuding that soft, loving, yummy energy and holding yourself there. And again, some of you, this is actually about leaving a relationship or heading towards a relationship. And maybe you couldn't embrace this relationship because of whatever this is that you, that's been just holding on to you. You're doing this out of integrity for yourself. Wow. And the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles being here. Again, Pisces and Virgo. So 1-7. So, sorry, when I say 1-7, I know. Some of y'all are new. Like, what is she talking about? First house, seventh house energy. Pisces, Virgo. The, the, the counterparts, right? The, they share the axis. When that happens, it can indicate that partnership is at play. Or, again, moving into wholeness within the self is at play. And even when we move into wholeness within the self, that reflects out in a reality into a relationship anyway. So both are true. All right, Pisces, I'm going to get into part two. And again, if this is where we depart, I hope you found this useful and supportive and enlightening for you. And if you're going to see me in a second, I'll see you in a second. Take care, Pisces. Namaste.